Let's solve problem 4.37 from Microelectronic Circuits 8th edition by Cedrin Smith. A 1 milliamp diode, as in one that has voltage drop across it 0.7 volts at a diode current of 1 milliamp, is connected in series with a 200 ohm resistor to a 1 volt supply. First, let's draw what this looks like. So we've got this 1 volt supply a 200 ohm resistor, and the diode is connected in series. Where this is VD, 90. Okay, part A, provide a rough estimate of the diode current you would expect. Okay, well, we already know that we're expecting around 0 0.7 volts. We're not totally sure. This is just an estimate. So just using KVL, we can estimate the diode current to be 1 volt minus 0 0.7 volts divided by 200 ohms. OK, and that is equal to 1.5 milliamps. But this is just an estimate, right? We don't actually know if this is correct. So now you go to part B. Estimate the diode current more closely using iterative analysis. So in a situation like this, we can use iterative analysis by solving for the current, then solving for the voltage across the diode based on that current, and then repeating this process over and over again until our numbers start to even out, they stop changing a lot, and at that point we can stop. And in this scenario, we're going to use this equation, VD is equal to V0 plus VT times the natural log of ID over I0. So what are all these values? V0 is the estimated voltage drop which in this scenario is 0 0.7 volts. I naught is equal to one milliamp because it's the current associated with the estimated voltage drop. And then VT is equal to 25 millivolts. It's a thermal voltage. So let's get started. We already calculated a current, so we can go straight to calculating or estimating our new Diode voltage. So 0 0.7 volts plus 0 0.0 to volt. Multiplied by the natural log of 1.5 milliamps divided by 1 milliamp. Get my calculator out. I'm getting 0. 7101 volts. So we can already observe that our voltage across the diode is greater than the originally estimated 0 0.7 volts. So now let's recalculate our current. I'm going to kind of draw a line through this, showing that we're doing a new calculation. So we're going to recalculate our current with our new calculated voltage across the diode. Uh, should be a one, fix that. Okay, 0 0.7101 volts divided by 200 ohms. So now I'm getting 1.4495 milliamps. And our new estimated voltage across the diode is equal to still 0 0.7 volts plus 0 0.025 volts times the natural log of our new estimated diode current. Divided by our initial current. So I'm getting that VD is equal to 0 0.7093 volts. So it changed a little, not dramatically, but it did change a little. So let's do one more calculation. 
just to get a little more precise. Okay. Let's recalculate our currents again. One volt minus 0 0.7093 volts divided by 200 ohms. So I'm getting 1.4535 milliamps. So we can also see our current isn't really changing much either, right? So this means we're getting pretty close. Okay, let's recalculate VD. 0 0.7 volts plus 0 0.025 volts times the natural log of 1.4535 milliamps divided by 1 milliamp. And here I'm getting actually the exact same number, 0 0.7093 volts. So I got the same voltage as my previous estimation, so I can pretty confidently stop here and say that this is a pretty close estimate. So the down current would be 1.4535 when it's closely estimated, which you can see is about a hundredth of a milliamp less than our rough estimate, which if we're doing serious circuit analysis, that can make a huge difference. 